I've gone ahead and filled in some of the uh, other values that I didn't do uh, so that I can use them in future calculations. For example, for calculation number 10, it says calculate the percent change in volume of the roasted coffee beans. That's going to be percent change. I think there should just be one equal sign there, but uh, volume of the roasted beans minus volume of the green beans over volume green. We have these numbers. Let's see if I can keep them on page here. There we go. No, it doesn't work. So volume of green is 119. Volume of uh, roasted is 222. Wow, that's a big change, as we will see. So it's going to be 222 milliliters minus 119 milliliters over 119 milliliters times 100 percent. So make sure you do the 222 uh, minus the 119, then hit the equal sign, and then divide by the 119 times 100 percent. 86, uh, let's go, 87 percent change. We'll go to two uh, sig figs this time. Let's see, yeah, yeah. Uh, all these go to, well, we won't talk too much about it, but wow, that's a huge change in volume. It's a good thing coffee beans are not sold by volume then, I guess, or they're sold by mass, because then the volume would make a big difference. So 80... Um, 87%, it rounds to 87%. And I'm going to write an exclamation point there because it's 100% would be doubling of the volume. So huge changes in volume. Now let's do percent yield of roasted coffee beans. Percent yield is going to be mass of roasted over mass at the start times 100%. Our mass of roasted is 70.7. Our mass at the start is 84.4 uh, grams over 84.4 grams times 100% equals 70.7 divided by 84.4 times 100 is 80. This time, I'm going to keep three sig figs. 83.8% yield. And we'll use this number because if now, if we know that our percent yield is 83.8, we can plug in a value, sort of reverse this calculation, plug in a value of green uh, beans that we start with and know how many roasted coffee beans will get out.